So, native seeds often have complicated germination um, instructions. So you have to break dormancy in a number of different ways. And um, the next couple that I'm gonna do are um, ones that need cold, then moist, uh, sorry, cold, then warm, then another cold again. So I'm gonna do these uh, in my refrigerator because I don't want to wait two years outside. Uh, and you're, I'm gonna bring you along with me. These back here, these roses, um, they also have cold, then warm, then cold, um, but we also need to uh, scarify them, uh, and we're gonna do that today using hot water, a hot water soak. So we're gonna start with these bladder nut seeds. So we've got five seeds. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is mix these in with a little bit of sand. This is actually uh, play sand. I have washed it and I sterilized it with uh, boiling water. Obviously it's cooled down now. So I'm going to take mm, maybe a little bit more sand so they get nice and covered. So it's a small ball that's moist uh, but not dripping and I'm going to combine them together. go. You can see they're all stuck in there. And I'm going to put them in my Ziploc sandwich bag. Do a bit of a mix. Ooh, that's my kettle. Be right back. Okay, so I've got my seeds into my plastic bag. You can actually see there's a seed there. So the sand will help keep it moist throughout. Good. Smush over. And I'm gonna close this up. So there we go. Let's see, there's a seed or two right there. Another one down there. Uh, and they will be nice and moist. And these are going to go into the refrigerator for, oh, that's the other one. These are gonna go into the refrigerator for about 60 days. So let's set that aside. Taking a look at the wafer ash, we've got about 50 seeds in here. Let's see what they look like. Now, I read a couple of places that these can benefit from a hot water treatment also. So I'm going to do a few that way. Uh, and a few without. So let's start with without. Let's see what we have here. There's a lot of seeds in there. Well, I, won't use these all. I won't use these all, but I will do a bunch. Let's do about like that. Uh, and let's get a nice ball of sand. And give it a bit of a mix together. I think I might put just a bit more sand in it. Okay. 
No. some of the seeds and they are nicely covered in sand they will be moist and those are going to go into the refrigerator for also about 60 days okay so let's do a couple more of those uh, but we're going to do them along with the roses in a hot water treatment I do About that many seeds left so I'd say I did a third a third in here and a third this way then we'll do one more third okay so we have our seeds so this is the Carolina Rose oh, that's a good bit of seeds I'm gonna put a few back Let's do those. Okay. This is the Rosa Blanda. And we'll do the same thing. I'll put a few of the seeds back. If I can get the package open. I'm putting back about a third. That's some stuff to the package here. So there's definitely some still in there in case I mess up. And I'll go get the kettle. Alright, so we've got some boiling water. I just boiled it. And let those seeds soak in it for about 24 hours. And we'll be back in a little bit to check this out. I want to come back to you to say that I updated the bag. So I've got no hot water on this one and I put the date that I'm going to put it in the cold stratification. Okay, same thing here. And I have a larger Ziploc bag, and this has, um, this will be for all of the ones that I put in this bag. They will all get uh, cold, warm, and then cold again, and they'll just go together. And tomorrow I will come back and I will add these to some sand in a bag and into this baggie they will go. I wanted to bring to you an example of refrigerated seed. Uh, these are seeds that are fresh, they're not dried out. Um, this is Solomon's Bloom. Uh, and they also take the uh, F germination, so cold, moist, and then cold again. Uh, they come in a nice little baggie. So I am just going to, here we go, so you can see that. I'm just going to add sand to this baggie and I'm going to do it straight in the baggie. I'm not going to save any of this for another year because uh, these seeds have to be used fresh so they won't really it won't, won't really wait. Mm, do a little bit more sand. Okay. Sand off of me. Okay. So 
So let's get the seeds all mixed into the sand. So I'm going to, because, um, because seeds like this, these sort of uh, native plant seeds, um, in the wild, they would go through a normal winter. In my area, ones that are locally native to my area, they would have, they would have the winter, the winter cold. There we go. Um, so I'm actually going to take them a couple of times back and forth from the freezer to the refrigerator because that's what they would get out in nature. Uh, I expect that that is what helps um, break the seed coat, the alternating between thawing and freezing. So I'm gonna do that uh, at home rather than just have them in the refrigerator. Uh, if I was doing a cultivated plant, or uh, something that was not locally native, that was native further south, that didn't have as much of a winter, probably wouldn't do that, probably just leave them in the refrigerator. But these I'm gonna do this way. All right, I'm gonna take a minute to write down what this is. And the date. Okay. And it will go in the bag with the others. Let's do one more together, shall we? Let's do this one. This is a blue cohosh. Let's open up and see what it's like. Big seeds. There we go. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to add the sand to this little packet and go from there. It's that tiny little mouth opening. <laughs> You need about as much sand as you have seeds. Maybe a slight bit more to help keep the seeds apart from each other. One more little bit of sand will do. And then we will mix it. Sand should keep those nice and moist. Get some of the air out here. I've heard different things about whether or not you zip it all the way closed or leave it open a little bit. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, the Prairie Moon Nursery where I got these suggests that you close it. So I will close it. Feel free to leave in the comments if you disagree. We have one today. Okay, and there we go. It's the next day, and these have been soaking now for around about 24 hours. These are our wafer ash seeds, and I'm going to put them in a baggie with some sand. I'm going 
going to pour off some of the water. my life a little bit easier and I'll take these I'm gonna do maybe slightly more sand than seed and give them a bit of a mash together okay got them all and then they go. That's one. Same thing here. Rose Blanda seeds into my hand. All right, I've got some sand and some seeds. I'll just give them a smush. I think I lost them down there. That's why it's nice to have a tray. I'm sure there's an easier way to do this, but this is the way I'm doing it for now. All right, got some sand. I'll give them a bit of a smush. These seeds are a little bit bigger than the other ones. So we're done with the sand. Okay, what I'd like to do now is mix this up a little bit better. The seeds are a bit more evenly distributed. This does not need to be perfect. my little lump. And one more. That worked pretty well. And I will also put the date on these. I 
Okay, these are ready to go in the refrigerator with the other ones from yesterday. So I will do that. We'll do that now. So here I am putting the seeds in the refrigerator. Again, take a look, they're all in their sand. These seeds will need about a month or two in the refrigerator. I plan on um, taking a look at them in a month to see how they go. And now I'm going to take these out of the refrigerator and put them in the freezer. They've been in the refrigerator for a couple of weeks uh, and now I'm gonna put them in the freezer. And I will repeat that cycle again. Here they are going in my freezer. In a couple of days, I'll pull them out and put them in the refrigerator. And now here we are, I'm going to check on the seeds from the freezer, pull them out and put them back in the refrigerator. I've already done this a couple of times. This simulates what would happen outdoors and I think that it will help them germinate beyond just leaving them in the refrigerator by themselves. We'll see what happens though. They look like they still have enough moisture and they're ready to go. In a day or two, we're going to have reached one month in the cold. So I will evaluate which ones need to come out and go into warm uh, and the others will keep on in the cold. I hope this has been helpful uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments, and I will check back in with an update as I switch these from cold to warm stratification. Bye!